By the age of seven, we had stopped going to church, and I just lived for myself, did my own thing. Growing up, I was overweight and I had a lot of insecurities, so I tended to do whatever uh, my friends did. It wasn't until I was 13 that I started uh, even considering the thought of God. My sister, she had just recently got saved at the time, and all she could ever talk about was Jesus, 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 and it annoyed me so much. I couldn't, couldn't stand being around her. None of the family could stand to be around her, and she was always seen as the uh, outcast in the family. She was always inviting me to church, but I never, I never decided to go. Then one, one day, I remember, I remember clearly going to a, a rock concert with one of my, one of my friends, and. I remember during that time, I ended up having a panic attack, and when you're 13 years old and you have a panic attack and you don't know what's happening, you feel like you're going to die. And I remember I had to be pulled out of the mosh pit, and when I was brought to the, to the edge of the stadium, the ambulance, they came and they, they checked out my vitals and ended up saying that everything was fine with me, that I just needed to rest. But in that moment, I remember feeling like I was going to die. And I remember the thought running through my mind that, if I were to die today, that I didn't know Jesus Christ and that I would end up going to hell and not heaven. That scared me. That reality hit me at that moment. Um, and it scared me so bad to the point where I said to God, God, if you let me live this day, I will serve you with all of my life. I ended up coming down from that panic attack and everything was fine and life went on. It wasn't until a couple months later my sister invited me again to go to, to church, but this time it was an encounter retreat where they went away um, to the mountains. And I remember she asked me and I said no at first. And then it seemed like out of nowhere this thought came to my mind and, and I felt like it was God at that time. I didn't know it was God, but I was reminded of that promise that I made to God that I would follow Him with all of my life. I remember sitting at my friend's house. There was only an hour left till they would leave to go to the trip. I called my sister up and I said, wait for me, I'm gonna pack my bags and I'm going. And the very first night, worship began. And I, I didn't know what anything was. I just, I just knew that people were singing songs. I knew that something in my heart needed a change. And I remember during worship, this peace coming over me so strong so, so powerful that I, that I couldn't resist but to sing along with the songs, to engage myself to the point where I was worshiping God and I hadn't even given my life to Him yet. I decided to give my life to Christ. Since then, my life has never been the same. I've been on a journey of growth and freedom, particularly in the area of uh, my purity. At the age of nine, I was introduced to pornography with my friend and from the time that I was nine to the time that I was about 17, I believe. I struggled severely with uh, this addiction to pornography and masturbation, and it controlled my life day to day. I tried to keep it hidden. I tried to not let anybody know about it. I was ashamed. I was embarrassed. How could somebody in the church who's been in the church for so long have this issue? It wasn't until I was 17 that I got fed up to the point where I didn't care about who knew what I had, about the skeletons in my closet, I decided that I wanted to live free. I wanted to live a life with God and purity and holiness. And my desire for holiness, my desire to follow after God was more than my desire to live in this sin. I remember going to Africa, receiving prayer through a prayer line similar to the one that we have here at Hungry Generation. And I was delivered mightily during that time from this spirit of pornography and masturbation, the spirit of lust, and what used to control my life, what I used to not be able to say no to, what used to day in and day out have control over my thoughts, my emotions, my, my body and my, my actions, everything I did, no longer had the grip that it had on my heart. When temptations came my way, I was able to say no. I was able to turn from them. I was no longer being hindered. I was no longer had this wall over my mind and over my thoughts when trying to pray, but it seemed like this veil had been lifted from my heart, this heaviness had been lifted from my heart, and I could serve God to the fullest and to the max. And now I find myself here in the church. I've been going to Hunger Generation faithfully for almost nine years, and I serve as a worship leader, and I'm a home group leader. I love what I do, I love helping people, and I just wanna give God 
everything that I have. I want to be able to serve Him in the ways that I know how. My name is Bryson Still, and this is my testimony.